Um, as one of the you know few people of your stature who have <coughs> kind of vocally come out on the side of downloads, is it that? Do you see downloads as a, as a kind of uh, lost leader, maybe too strong of a word, but a, a way for artists to connect more easily and then um, be able to monetize their passion through their other materials? Is that where you fall on downloads? Yes. I mean, uh, I, at this point in time, I started another company in 1989, 1998, sorry, getting a bit dyslexic, <laughs> 1998, and um, it's been a, a difficult uh, period, an extraordinary <coughs> period over the last five years, five, six years. So I don't have any uh, artists signed to my company who are selling two, three, four, five million copies. So I can certainly afford to be very positive about peer-to-peer uh, uh, -peer downloading, etc. Why? Because it's an incredibly efficient way of getting music out there. Before you'd have to, you know, manufacture a lot. You'd have to ship them to people. They'd pile up on people's desks. They'd never hear them. Now they go everywhere in the world at no cost. So you know, maybe if you have somebody who's only selling 30, 40,000 records, maybe they'll sell 10, 20 instead of 30, 40. That 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 doesn't matter to anybody. It's well worth it to get their name out there and get get what they're doing out there and get it heard. So in that respect, I'm very, I'm very much for it. I think it would probably be harder to defend if I did have an artist who was selling five million records three or four years ago and was making a record of similar importance <coughs> and relevance, and they only sold two or three now because that top end is taken off. The majors are really suffering now. They're suffering big time because you see, that's a, their whole process is like I said earlier: sign something pay a huge amount of money for everything, you know, to sign them, to beat the other guys, to make the video, to do this, to do that, to do the other. And if they, if they get it right, the top is creamed off because, no, you know, with, with the downloading, a, a lot of revenue is lost. There's no question. A lot of revenue is lost off the big hits. So they no longer, if they have something which was, let's say, Usher's record, I don't know what it sold, let's say it sold eight, 8 million copies or something. That maybe you've sold 10 or 12 million copies. Well, that extra two or four million copies is 20 to 40 million dollars of revenue that the company is not getting, which covers all the, all the other problems they have. So what they're doing now, they're all stripping back, stripping back, stripping back the overhead. But all, all of it is little people who make all the difference, actually. The sales guy, the local sales guy here, or the local promotion person there. The people with the large, big salaries are still staying there. It's, all, it's just the little guys are getting cut out. And so the result is now they're really not effective at all. Whereas before you say, well, the good thing about a major, they have a couple of people in this city and a couple of people in that city who can do They don't have them anymore. They don't have anybody. They're like an empty shell. So it's got to change completely, you think, before it gets better? I think so, but I think I think independence. I think independence will change it. In, independence and 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 the use of the internet for distribution of, of information and of the product itself. The innovation will always come from the independent field, right? Well, it, it always has, has because you know, you know, if somebody's been in, struggled all their way and they're the top of the company, you know, it's it's there's no upside for them to come up with something new. Isn't well, it? I mean,